Okay. This is how you, you can preserve your copy of whatever Xbox game that you have. You have to put copy disk to hard drive. After you do that, you've got to go to FTP in it. I use FileZilla. I can go to the history of it and go right back to my Xbox with just by doing this. And mainly what you do, you put right there in the left top, it says host, you Xbox IP address. It's in the bottom corner of your screen there. Next one you put Xbox in the host name, Xbox in the password, and ports 21 and hit quick connect and then you see right here it's got all the xbox partitions right there okay mine's gonna be the elf games and i'm gonna do the fellowship It's Lord of the Rings, basically. I've already transported it over here from to my computer, but I'll show you how to do it. You just basically, well, you don't do that. <laughs> okay. Go to your games, and then what you do. You click on it and you drag it over to your computer part, wherever you want to put it at. To decide where you're going to put it, you go here to the top. And what I did, I went to the very top, click desktop, and mainly I just drag it from right here to over here. See my arrow? I'm not going to do it again because I don't need to. And it will start downloading it for you to your computer. Now what you'll get is some files. And there's the files right there. Okay, I tried image burn will actually make an ISO of this, but it won't work. I've tried a bunch of times. What you got to do is you got to get CX box. Two. If you can see it or not. Click on that. Go to the little green bar click on it twice and it starts popping up okay from here you can go to the left And go to the, about the top to ISO creation. Then you go to the bottom to add a folder. You go to your source folder. And since mine is on the desktop.
got to go there. Click on your desktop, and you go down to Fellowship, right there it is. Click on that, hit OK. In the Target folder, I think what I'll do is just put it right back in the folder it came out of. You click on it, OK. Then click OK. Then you click Start. It starts. Then it don't do nothing at all. <laughs> Can open file. Oh, I see what happened. I'm trying to put it back in the same folder that it's using. It won't let me do it. So, well, by me making a mistake, you'll learn to. I'll make me another folder. And I just leave the name new folder on it. We'll go back into it. Go back to ISO creation, add folder, source folder, go to desktop, and fellowship. Just lower the rings and click OK. Then target folder, go to the desktop again. Put new folder, click OK. OK again and start. And maybe it'll go through this time. <laughs> Image Burn is a very good program, but it will not work with Xbox if you make an ISO out of this file. I, I tried several times. It just would not work. It don't recognize it. Apparently this puts, I think it's X fat. What it, uh, it's what the file is. Format. You've got fat 32. X, you got different formats, basically. It, and Xbox was trying to keep everybody from doing this. And that's why you have to use this tool right here. I think you can get it at xbox-hq.com. It's called C Xbox Tool version 
2.0.7. That's what version I've got. I've been trying for years to learn how to do this to back up my own stuff. Don't want to scratch my disc up. And as you see, I have got the original disc, Lord of the Rings. And that says ISO created. Yeah, just to prove I, I have got all <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Not downloading nowhere, I'm just backing up what I have got. He makes out of it after he gets through. And see my new folder here. The Fellowship of the Ring. Made an ISO out of it. What you gotta do now is burn it to a disc. Should have already been ready with this, but I wasn't. Sorry for the shakes of the camera. It's kind of hard to do this on stand. I got a stand, but here we here. Gotta go to my image burn. Okay, got a right image file to disk, and you got to pick what you're going to do. Go to my new folder, Fellowship of the Ring, just click on it twice. Then you look over here, support and writing speeds. You got two, four, six, or eight. Go to the lowest one. And you check on two there. And that's ready to write. Go over to your little disc, click on it, and it'll start its thing. Burning your ISO. Yeah, as far as CX box tools, uh, give you a place where to download it at but there's, there's several other places you can do it too 
Oops, Google's your friend. <laughs> Okay, I'll give you a hint while that's going on. You see her on the right top? You gotta go to the Google store and get traffic light. And web of trust. The reason why there's a lot of sites they want to get you when you're trying to download stuff. See, if I type in, like, uh, let's see here. Let's just type in the Xbox. Oh. <laughs> Well, they came up with something. They weren't supposed to do that. Let me back out here. Hmm. Let's try something random. Let me see here. Try Lowe's. Okay, you see all those green check marks? That's what that does. Traffic light and web of trust. If it's got the green check mark in front, it's good. If it's got two green check marks, one in the front, one in the back, it's even better. Trying to find something to show it with the red. Let's try another thing here. See how they got green chat marks on them. Try and show you one that had a red chat mark. Do not click on those. They're out to get you. Well, I thought I'd see a red check mark if I just put it in game. <laughs> but anyway, that's what you look out for. As long as you got a green check mark in the front and maybe one in the back, you're okay. The ISO is still creating the reason I'm still on this. So got a little ways to go. Basically, if you have more than one Xbox and you don't have much room on your hard drive, you can make a, a disk that you already own and back it up and use it on it. Or if you just want to preserve, 
the game you've got don't want to get scratched up make you a copy put the original disc in this case and put it up where it won't get scratched oh well i can't find no red ones but believe me they're out there i got all kind of viruses trying to get games a long time ago Now, if I wasn't looking for one, it'd pop me in the face. But now that I'm looking for a red circle or red mark, it's not showing it to me. Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> I'm gonna put uh, XBMC emu station on my on it too. Makes it look a lot better. Uh, it's a little easier to find all your stuff in it too. I'm um, 42% done. That must be a big one. I never checked see how, what how, what what the file was. You can right click on the file and hit properties. And well, it's not that big 2.32 gigabytes. I tried to make this faster by going ahead and putting it on my computer files and show you how to use the C CX box tools but this right here is taking a little longer than I thought it was going to take if you want to learn how to use FileZilla I suggest going to YouTube and looking up Array J. He's got the best tutorial on it I've ever seen. I followed it and it really helped me out a lot. I tried to find on YouTube the best way to do this and you can't hardly really find nothing to work with. Uh, one guy was talking about you have to have a DVD drive that's been flashed. Basically, I didn't want to buy one. I'm cheap. Another guy was talking about a bunch of things you had to do and Jump through hoops, run around the house three times. But it, it was ridiculous to what all he said he had to do. But I found out this works. And it's a lot easier than what, you know, any of the other ones I've seen. You basically got a few steps, like I said. You got copy this to hard drive on your original xbox then ftp the files over to your computer then make an iso out of it with your c xbox 2 kit there then you gotta burn it with image burn or any kind of burning software that you have will work 
and it's ready to go. Yeah, 62%. As far as at the top where it says verify, I don't do it. It just takes more time and the best way to test it, just throw it in the Xbox to see if it works. Now if you've got a computer that doesn't have a button to push, make the make a tray eject, it stays inside until you eject it through the computer. You put verify on it and it'll kick the disc out for you. That way you just easier to pull out that way. I got a computer that was on Windows 7. And when I went to 10, the button don't work no more. It's a Basically, that very last white mark there, supposed to be eject disk, it don't work. I guess don't have no driver for it. Oh, good news. What I've heard. Xbox Live is coming back. That was the first paid thing I ever paid for to get online with. And I wouldn't even own an Xbox except for one thing, Halo. Halo made me buy an Xbox. <laughs> when it made me, I, I wanted to. <laughs> we, get, we, we used to gather at a friend of mine's house, have two Xboxes and two TVs and Sometimes it'd be four of us, and we'd just have a ball, have an Xbox party. They have a land party, as they call it. It was a lot of fun. Playing online was fun, but I'd rather do it like we was doing it, a land party. There's only certain games that you can do that with, and Halo was one of them. Just about 90%. Count down. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a paid subscription to Xbox Live or what, but we'll just keep a watch on YouTube or just kind of click in there once in a while and look it up and it'll tell you. You can do it through X-Link Kai right now, but that only game you can play is Halo and it's not too good to play, to tell you the truth, I've done it. You can also do PlayStation 2. I think they're doing 
uh, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 too. Anybody's got banned can play through there now. I don't know what games are mostly playing. You can look up X Link Kai on YouTube and just show you how to I'll show you how to set it up with a computer. You run it through a computer. It's called tunneling software. All right, we're about through. Love my image burn. All right, operation com successfully completed. Let me inject my disc and I'll show you it works. Mm. Make sure I didn't burn the wrong side. You can't already see nothing on this. <laughs> And there it comes. Proof of concept. It works. All oh, the old memories. I never played this game. <laughs> I got it from a friend of mine. Didn't have no use for it no more. All right. All right. Give me a like, please, because that's going to help keep me going. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll catch you in the next one.